good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Habari za asubuhi. Honorable Salha Muhammad Mujuma. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and distinguished participants, I believe the protocol has been observed. Welcome to the Women in Sport Conference here in the beautiful island of Zanzibar. To all, to all our guests, Karibu Misana. To us, the Zanzibari, Asanteni Kwa Kuja Nyumbani. It is an honor and privilege to stand before you today as both the host and the organizer of this um, significant event. This event, uh, it holds a paramount significant because it recognizes the need for gender equality, empowerment in the world of sport. Women have been long underrepresented, undervalued, and faced numerous challenges in pursuing their athletic aspiration. Today we gather here to address the issues but also we are here to celebrate the achievement of female athletes such as Zanzibar Sparks and chart the course toward a more inclusive and equitable sporting landscape, not only in Zanzibar, but, but, but in Africa and the globe. At Vinara Legal Chambers, we understand the importance of legal advocacy and support in ensuring that women and men in sport have equal opportunity to thrive and succeed. As a sport law firm that is based in Tanzania, our role extends beyond traditional legal services. We, we are committed to empower athletes, breaking down the barriers, and championing the diversity and inclusivity in the sport. Zanzibar, as we know, it's so rich in history and diverse community. Serves as the perfect backdrop of this conference. We understand the importance of inclusivity, safe space, and equality within the sports industry. By hosting this conference today, we at Vinare Legal Chambers affirm our commitment to foster a culture of empowerment, opportunity for women and men in sport, not only in Zanzibar, in Tanzania at large. Our legacy is a sports law firm is now rooted in dedicating and promoting gender equality, creating a leveling playing field for athletes regardless of the gender. We firmly believe that the future of sports lies in the hands of the next generation of girls who dare to dream, compete, and excel. It is our collectively here today, and it is also our responsibility as members from different sporting institutions across East Africa and the globe to pave a way for them to inspire and empower and to create a lasting legacy of equality, respect, and opportunity for women in sport. As we embark on this journey together, as the Women in Sport Conference, let us come together with open minds. I would like to add more. I understand um, we, had, we had a lot of issues, a lot of questions, but I would like all of us here, as we are here today, to, to have an open mind on the concept of the Women in Sport Conference. It's not only for women, it's also for men. I'm glad you're all here today. 
have a compassionate heart and fierce determination to effect a positive change within the sporting industry. And, and furthermore, to amplify the voices of the women in the sports industry. We understand the benefit of promoting women in sport. A manfold extended far beyond the confined playing, playing field. When we promote women in sport, we are investing in their lives. We are investing in the future of our community. We are also investing in the economy of the country. Studies over the years have shown the increasing female participation in sport leads to an improved health outcome, enhanced education, attainment, and a greater economic empowerment. Furthermore, in the context of Zanzibar sports industry, the integration of women into sport carries a greater significance is a vital hub of tourism and trade. Our sports rely on the talent of expertise of individuals such as um, Zanzibar Sparks from all the background to thrive. The breaking down barriers and creating pathways for women in sport, we unlock a, res a reservoir of untapped potential driving innovation and the growth of the sports industry within Zanzibar and beyond. Today, we have the opportunity to catalyze the change and shape the future of women and girls in sport through different dialogues that will be going on all over the two days, collaboration between different sectors such as GAZ, WESA, uh, we have the National, National Sports Council from Tanzania, the Zanzibar, the Zanzibar National Sports Council, the mother of the sports industry, that is the Ministry of Sports today, here today. With that commitment, I believe we can pave a way for more inclusivity equitable sporting landscape, better infrastructure where every woman and girl has the opportunity to reach her potential. I argue here today and every one of us actively engage in the discussion that will be going, will be going on today. Activity planned for this conference, let us harness the collective power of our voice to drive a meaningful, progressive end to create a lasting change within the sports industry in Zanzibar. With this in mind, we are in a position to, bu to build a bright and better, inclusive and safe future for women and girls in sporting industry in Tanzania and the globe. Thank you for being part of this important gathering and I look forward to engaging in a very fruitful discussion sharing insights, experience, and collectively shaping a brighter future for women and men in sports. Together, I believe we can make a difference and leave behind a legacy that will, will inspire generations to come. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Judith. Asante sana such nice words um, to open up our morning. Um, when I got a call to come and uh, uh, be part of this project, to be quite honest, I dropped everything uh, to come to Zanzibar uh, and, and do it. And I, I'll tell you what, I, I'm, I'm not getting paid for doing this. Uh, I, this is uh, pro bono. Um, and I think uh, Zanzibar, uh, a noble uh, deputy minister, is, is the right place to to host uh, this meeting, and, and for a couple of reasons, but I'm going to mention two, two of them. Um, 
the President of Zanzibar, uh, His Excellency Dr. Hussein Mini, appointed uh, Honorable Tabia Malid. Uh, who is a woman to, to lead the sports uh, ministry and uh, as you all know the East African community, East African countries are hosting um, uh, AFCON 2027 and uh, so Anabu Mita managed to renovate uh, among sporting complex here in Zanzibar in record time, uh, just in the six months, and that is just amazing. Uh, and just a, just another uh, point I want to make here: uh, Zanzibar also appointed Natasha Jones, we all know the British boxer, female boxer, who is an honorary ambassador uh, to, to 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 Zanzibar. It just shows uh, where Zanzibar is uh, going really. Um, may I take uh, this time now to invite uh, Dr. Suleiman Mahmoud Jabir, who is the president of Zanzibar Football Federation, uh, to speak a few words here. Good evening, Good morning. Habari za asubuhi. Honorable Minister, Deputy Minister, Madam Salha Mohamed Mjuma, Deputy Minister Land and uh, Housing Development Zanzibar, Ms. Judith Zabadayo, Managing Partner, Madam Nema Msita, Executive Secretary, National Sports Council Tanzania, Mr. Amir Mohamed, Commissioner for Sports Zanzibar, Without forgetting Mr. Said Marin, Executive Secretary, Zanzibar Sports Council, distinguished guests, distinguished partners, participants, ladies and gentlemen, it's an honor to be here. And thank you very much, Salm Kikeke, for that introduction. And thank you all for the kind welcome. I'm delighted to be here. And I feel privileged to deliver the keynote speech at this distinctive international conference. I will always treasure this moment. I'm sure that this conference will make a significant contribution to gender equality, equity, and women's empowerment in sports, as Madam Zabadayo here has already mentioned. It is clear from the breadth of topics to be covered and the expertise of the, of the participants. It shows how seriously you take your responsibility to sports and wider society. It is really very overwhelming and congratulations for that. It is fitting that this conference is taking place here in Zanzibar presently as Salim Kikeke here has mentioned some of the points why. But for me, I'll say that due to Zanzibar government visions, I'm sure that in a few years to come, the eyes of Zanzibar are expected to turn into a true center of sporting excellency, which will be hosting major events in a whole range of sports and offering world-class facilities in sports, competitions as well as in training. Let us keep our hands together to the President of Zanzibar, His Excellency Dr. Husseini Alimwini, for the commendable work that he has been doing to Zanzibar and her people in terms of economy, infrastructure, health, education, and sports facilities. Thank you. We all know and believe that sports belongs to all human beings. It is important to women as well as to men, and sports provide opportunities to learn, to experience success, teamwork, and moments of excellency. However, these social, cultural, and economic arrangements in society have resulted into a situation whereby men as opposed to women, concentrate in certain kinds of sports and vice versa. Different arguments have been given for this phenomenon, some of which being cultural in nature, others biological.
obvious the speed of women's advancement in sports has been started and does vary but it is important that it's underway more or less everywhere however many obstacles remain to be overcome it is undeniable that despite the positive trajectory however persist participant persistence challenges continue and impede the full realization of gender equality in sports these obstacles encompass issues such as inequal in unequal pay disparities in media coverage branding and endorsement deals perpetuation of stereotypes and the security and a scarcity sorry of opportunities for women and assume leadership roles within the sports industry i would like to take this opportunity opportunity to go, to congratulate madam fatima here from azam for being nominated and awarded the best women writer congratulations to you and congratulations for national sports council tanzania for seeing that i've been touched with the accesses that this conference is going to digest in the coming four days where the first one is awareness in which it talks about media representation we do believe that and examples are there that many include receiving unequal payment to the some amount of effort and work receiving less media attention and television coverage uh, i'm sure that madame fatma has been awarded that award but not that many media houses here in tanzania do talk about her i don't think if she has even called for interview or something like that so this is one of the issues that we have to make sure that at the end of this conference we do overcome so on top of the little amount of coverage time for women's sports there are other negative issues associated with the actual content and image representations sports media's depictions of female athletes and journalists are filled with stereotypes and biases we do see in political and business world we do witness female ministers principal secretary directors and ceos and senior administrators administrators rather playing leadership roles and ship and shaping mega money enterprises and businesses however they still often run into glass ceilings so to challenge the societal view about the professionalism and competencies of female sports athletes professional and reports journalists there is a need to further enhance awareness women's rights and essence of gender equality and equity the other issue that also i like to mention here lots have been said or all lots have been said before and all will be said here and discussed on this some of the issues such as taboos religious cultural myth etc but there are some issues and one of the issues that is always unsaid that most of us in this room and in other forums like this we are not going to talk about women being their own enemies the concern of women of being their own enemies in leadership advancement in most countries emerged as a common theme a similar concept was voiced by the respondents in most recent studies and one respondent referred to that he or she called this as phd syndrome that means pull her down this syndrome prevalent among women in sports leadership position for me it begs the question are women responsible for their own plight i think the answer could be yes or no it could be yes because many prefer to stay in their cocoons and do what they have always been doing since time immemorial support men 
They refuse to acknowledge that they can change their realities by recognizing their own self-worth and challenging the damage that their socialization has done to them. But also, the answer could be no. Why? Because it is that very, that very socialization that keeps us the same place. In our lives, men head households and occupy key positions in society. Women who speak up and challenge the status quo are frowned upon by their communities and our societies as bad women and who don't know their place. Not wanting to be associated with this condemned behavior, many women withhold their support and lash out at those they perceive as bringing good women into disgrace. So women, girls and women, let's work up on this. For me, I do, being a teacher by professional, I do believe on training and mentoring. Sports is a healthy activity that helps build self-confidence and natural cont contacts with others. It should be possible for women, as it for men, to participate, work, manage, and uh, enjoy sports in a safe and secure environment. Sports must also consider where collective action is appropriate and where individu individual action is appropriate. Taking inspiration from the determination, determination and dedication of female athletes from around the world, the next generation of girls can be inspired and participate in sports in the process. These girls are challenging the barriers which exist in their societies, refuting gender stereotype and changing cultural norms, proving that women can excel in all manners of activities if only given the opportunity. So we should ask ourselves, are we encouraging our girls and women to become more involved at all levels of sports? I do believe with self-confidence, leadership, teamwork, and skills, girls are better equipped to challenge social norms which continue to oppress women and relegate them to being second-class citizens. Through discrimination persists, sorry, though, rather than through, discrimination persists around the world and acts as deterrent to girls' participation in sports. So international actors, government bodies, and all communities themselves have increasingly recognized the values of challenging these names, these norms, sorry. We do remember that in 2003, there was this United Nations Resolution 58 stroke five, which calls on government to use sports to promote education, health, development, and peace. International Sports Federation and National Sports Federation is mine, which is Zanzibar Sports, sorry, Zanzibar Football Federation, we do have an important role in, in engaging and convincing governments that sports is valid, efficient, and cost-effective tool for improving our nation as long as our world. This audience, above all, understands the value of effort, teamwork, and, and partnership. It is through partnership, not only with development agencies, but also with civil society and private sector we can maximize the impact of sports for good in our societies and the world at large. Thank you for all you are doing with clear goals and renewed effort. We can achieve together a great deal more in the years to come to harness the potential of sports improve in sports to improve lives across our planet. Together, we can break new records, achieve new goals, and prove an unbeatable team. My appeal to each and everyone here, let us team up to make more, to make sports more attractive, supportive, and safe 
for our girls and women. Thank you very much for attention. together for um, the ZFF's uh, president, Dr. Suleiman Mahmoud uh, Jabir. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, my colleague here, uh, Priska Kishimba, who, Kishamba, who is uh, a brilliant sports journalist and presenter, is going to briefly summarize what uh, the president has said in Swahili. Thank you, Priska. Mbaya Sumimbe Mbubele Mabwana, kama mbavu mtamblisha mazangu salim, netuwa Priska Kishamba, ni mtangazaji mpindi ya mechezo kutoka Clarence Media. Kwa kifupi sana, nitachukua nafasi hii kuweza kutafsiri kwa mwiga ya kiswahili, sehemu fupi ya hutuba ya rais wa ZFF, kaka yangu mwishima Suleiman Jaber. Mwishima Jaber, alikuwa na jayu kuelezea na mbavu kwa ujumla wake, serikali ya mapenduzi ya Zanzibar, china rais Dr. Hussein Mwenye, hivyo tayari na iko tayari kuendelea kushirikiana na wadau katika kuendelea kufanya soka la wanawake kwa jumla wake kuwa sehemu salama lakini dr Jabir pia amezungumzia kusana na swala la mtazamo tofauti ambayo inatazamiwa kwenye upande huu wa soka la wanawake kitu ambacho kimekuwa pia kinaurudisha nyuma mabinti ambayo kwa namna moja na nyingine umekuwa na ndoto ya kuweza kuwa sehemu ya eneo hili la soka lakini dr Jabir akawa anatukumbusha kama jamii kama watu wa michezo sisi ni sababu ya kuwafanya mabinti hao ama jamii hiyo kuona kama mpira ama soka la wanawake kwa ujumla ni sehemu salama ni jukumu la kila mmoja wetu kuona fursa hiyo na kuweza kuitumia ili kuhakikisha hatuwezi kupoteza ndoto hizi ili kuhakikisha tunaendelea kuwashawishi mabinti hawa ili na wao siku moja waweze kuona kama soko la wanawake kwa ujumla na uongozi ni kitu ambacho na wao kinawahusu kwa ujumla wake lakini zaidi lakini zaidi kwa kumalizia Uh, ni kuendelea kuhamasisha uh, kutoa wito kuwakumbusha na kueleza umuhimu wao namna ya kujisimamia kwa ujumla wao lakini zaidi kuitumia michezo katika kufikisha taarifa kufikisha jumbe mbalimbali na zaidi elimu kwa mabinti hawa kwa haya machache na washukuru sana 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 uh, Uh, that is fantastic. I think uh, the president uh, said some uh, made some crucial points, and um, I'm just going to give a uh, living example. Um, two, actually, uh, one if Priska is going to be uh, ready to talk about it, I'm sure throughout uh, the, the the sessions she might come and talk about it. She was um, um, uh, she was attacked. Uh, verbally uh, at a press conference um, uh, by a man and it just shows how um, these notions that the president was trying to address are uh, widely practiced uh, here in, in not only in Tanzania but across uh, across the world and uh, So this this just shows that we we, we go through that almost um, every day and I was um, recently responsible to put together a team uh, we, we, we just formed a new radio station a new radio and tv station and i am part of that and i was supposed to put together a team of six people and what i did i was very clear uh, that i 50 percent of the people that i am going to employ are going to be women and uh, the, 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 the remaining 50% is men. So uh, we do have a female lead presenter on one of our shows. Uh, I insisted on having a female sports presenter, and luckily I got a brilliant uh, sports presenter. And my uh, lead camera person is a woman. So it just shows that we need, uh, just to underline what the president was saying, that we need to take self-initiative to change this narrative uh, to make sure that it includes um, everyone. Um, yeah, so kwa kifupi tu nisemi kwamba uh, Priska anaweza akazungumzia uzoefu wake na yeye kwa sababu kwenye mkutano uh, mmoja na waandishi wa habari alishambuliwa kwa maneno uh, kama atakuwa na muda ataweza kutuambia kuonyesha tu jinsi gani kwamba uh, katika sekta hii ya michezo lakini 
uh, hata sekta mbalimbali mwanamke anapoonekana uh, anaonekana ni mtu wa daraja la chini na inakuwa rahisi sana kuweza kushambuliwa na vile vile nilikuwa nasema kwamba kwa sababu tumefungua kitu chetu kipya cha radio na TV kinaitwa Crown na moja ya majukumu yangu kama uh, kiongozi nilitakiwa kuajiri watu na timu yangu kuna timu ndogo ya chumba cha habari na watu sita nikahakikisha kwamba watatu kati hao sita wanakuwa ni wanawake Uh, na bahati nzuri nimeweza kupata na mtangazaji wetu wa kipindi cha michezo atakuwa ni uh, ni mwanamke. So hizo ni juhudi ambazo zinatokiwa zichukuliwa zi, zi na sisi uh, wenye kuhakikisha kwamba tunamalizana na na uh, hiki ambacho tunakishuhudia. Tuna